12.15 and I'm heading to pick up my first order of the day. It's for McDonald's in Groveland. It wasn't a great order, but I literally had like almost just left my house. Um, so I was like, you know what, let me just take it because it's my first order. I think it was like $8.25, like six miles, but like five of the miles is me getting to the McDonald's. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do it. Um, hopefully that means I'll be busy all day. It, it is Friday, so I'm very hopeful and we call that positive. <laughs> um, that it's going to be a good day because it is Friday. So a lot of people, well, usually it's busy on Fridays. So hopefully today is no different than that. I had a dash scheduled for 1130 and I was trying to make um, some shot glasses and all the designs I kept trying to print were just getting shredded. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have to put that aside and figure something else out for shot glasses because it, you know the space that you have to work with is so, so small. Um, I don't know if it's the settings I'm using or what, but oh man, I should have turned there in that one. Oh well, I did not. But I was like, you know what, let me switch gears and go to this no soliciting sign because people in our neighborhood be soliciting, even though there's signs at the front that say no soliciting, that it's a private community. So I said, you know what, let me get one for the door because they'll be knocking and they'll knock and knock and they'll wait like five minutes. And I'm like, bro, I'm not answering the door. So I don't know. I don't know why you don't get the message. If we're not answering the door, go away. So I bought a little thing from Dollar Tree and I went yesterday to Walmart and got the stain for it. So I stained it and now I have to let that dry for like a day. So tomorrow I'll put the words on, but I already have the words printed out and weeded out. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I hope it looks really good when it's done. I might have to, no, I shouldn't have to stain the back because it's for me, so. I'm super excited about that. My pickup time for McDonald's says 1230. I don't know why. I'm going to hit that I arrived at the store. Hopefully they'll let the, um, hopefully it'll be ready when I go in there. My phone is glitching. I think it got too hot. But I'm going to, y'all, that was ridiculous. It's 1236 and I'm just getting in the car to head to the drop off. So crazy. They were so behind. And then there was like four other people waiting, but it wasn't even like they were there before me. A couple of them came after me and four people got their food before me. And I'm talking delivery drivers. I'm not talking customers that are, you know, place their order themselves. I was the last one and I was there before most of them. So I was quite annoyed. I did message the customer to let them know I was still waiting and I'm heading for the drop off now. Why did my mileage change? It was two miles, now it's 3.2 and this is the way it told me to go. I don't understand that. It probably wanted me to take 19, I don't know. Um, but I'm heading to drop it off finally. I should be there in five minutes and it's a leave at my door. going slowly come on buddy get out the road get out the road like 
So I was trying to push my GoPro back up and I dropped the little screw. So I'm gonna hold it so I can record. So it might be a little shaky. I forgot to turn back off Uber. 3.9 miles for $2, it ain't happening. Oh, now I just turned on UberX by accident. Um, I haven't been taking those because I need to clean out my car again. You know, every day you use it, you get stuff all on the bottom. We had went to the beach and then we went somewhere where it was like a dirt road. So there's dirt all in the bottom. So I'm like, no, I'm not trying to, you know, have people in the car. Um, I'm here at Pizza Hut for an order for 1.8 miles for $5.50. Um, I'm going to say like half of that was me getting to Pizza Hut. I was on the way in, more into Groveland to head to Claremont. So I'm already here at Pizza Hut. I'm going to head inside and see if it's ready. I found the screw and the Pizza Hut order was ready. The pizza is so freaking hot too. Um, but I'm heading to drop it off now and it's 0.4 miles away y'all. So that was a really good order that I picked up. I'm, I'm happy about that. So I did not get one for Publix. It says I'm in a good spot, but there's other shoppers nearby. It says that for every store, cause I'm sure everybody's doing the same thing. You have to really be at the store to get the better orders. But I got one for Wendy's on DoorDash for like, what was it? I don't remember y'all. 3.1 miles for 650. So it could go up. I don't know if it will but I'm taking the chance. Hopefully it won't take forever. Um, I'm, why are you going up the wrong way, bro? Oh my gosh, these people are going the wrong way down the aisle. Don't you realize all the cars are facing the opposite way that you're going? And then if they get into an accident, whose fault is that? Like, oh my goodness. Anyways, right across the street from Wendy's because Publix is right across the street from Wendy's, Taco Bell, and Wendy's Taco Bell. I think that's the two that are over there. I can't remember. And Burger King's in the plaza with Publix, with the Subway and the Japanese restaurant and Duncan. I would Duncan is just atrocious. Every time I would try and go there, you wait forever. Nobody ever comes to the speaker, so I don't go there. Oh yeah, and the pizza place pizza places in Publix too but anyways Wendy's here I come heading to deliver I did have to wait a few minutes but when I went in there they were making the order um there was a bunch of people working they just I don't know y'all you know, they a little slow I guess the drive through was busy the drive through was moving though so if you order your food in the drive through you won't be waiting so long I'm um, heading to delivery. It was like 2.3 miles for the delivery, so it's not that bad of an order at all. I'm happy I got it. babies in clips um but i got a 50 for that so that was good now i'm going to head back i think i'm just gonna head to claremont now um and see if i can get some orders over there i did turn on corner shop <clears throat> corner shop because on the road that i was on to get to this drop off i was able to turn it on Ooh, vultures must have something dead around because that's weird they're in somebody's front yard um 
so I'll be back y'all once I do take my next order I can figure out how to get out of here I gotta get out of here so I got an order on Uber Eats now for CVS it was let me see here did I get a picture of it I did for seven dollars sixty cents 2.3 miles for one item I already looked at the item it's a COVID test um, and for the first time I have oh, hold on y'all they're sending me now they're sending instacarts of course which I could do because it would be on the way to the one at Citrus Tower but for nine miles for $19 for 20 items 30 units no um, it says expected by two, well I'll put it up on the screen for y'all but the Uber Eats says expected by 2 p.m. 2 so I don't know if they expect me to get the item by 2 p.m. Um, I've never seen that before. Usually Uber Eats doesn't have a time, but I haven't taken an Uber Eats order in like a week, I would say. I think it was a week yesterday, actually. All week the Ubers have been trash. Um, but that's where I'm at now, y'all. I'm heading to CVS. I'm at the light, so I just have to wait for the light to change and I'll be there. Y'all, it has been so long since I've gotten an order um, and now it's pouring and I took one that's not that great because I just haven't gotten anything. I tried to sit by the Publix for like a half an hour, nothing. So I'm like, all right, I got on another dash. Let me go sit where all the restaurants are. No good orders, no good orders. Now it's pouring and you think, is this where it wants me to turn? I think so. You think something would come up, but nothing good. So I took one for $6 for four miles. So there's no opportunity of it going up, which is pretty crappy because it is literally pouring in Claremont. So I don't know. Um, I don't think I've ever picked up from Cracker Barrel before. Maybe one time. I honestly can't remember. I think I've picked up from here one time. And it was a long time ago. Uh, and now it's raining. I do have my jacket, so that's good. Ooh, squirrel's getting wet. I don't know even where even to park to try and get this order. I guess we're gonna find out. So they're sending me an add-on for 2.7 miles for $6. So I'm gonna take that. I don't know if it's going to the same house. I only see a pickup. Oh no, it is two different houses. But I'm still gonna take it anyways because it's another $6, so it makes this uh, an okay order. All right, <clears throat> got the food and now I'm heading to the next pickup. It is 1.5 miles away now that I'm getting out of this plaza and I got to drive by the Publix again. And it looks pretty good. It, they have all the signage up on the front. The Presto machine is up. And inside, I can see that it looks pretty set up. So hopefully they're almost done, which would be nice. I'm super excited for that Publix to open up because that's going to be more opportunities. I don't think it's going to be like a super big Publix because it's not a lot of space. But any Publix is better. And it's, in, it's like in the middle of all the restaurants and stuff. So that's really good for me. Going off like crazy. 
I'm gonna put my seatbelt on because otherwise it's gonna bark at me. That was not a good Instacart. I have a McDonald's order for $6.75 for 2.8 miles. I think I can do that one. So let me screenshot that, take that, and now I'm heading to McDonald's. And the order that I just dropped off, it did go up. I forget to what it went up to. $7 maybe? Yes, it went up to $7. So they said it was going to be $6 for that add-on and it ended up being $7. So that's awesome. And now I'm heading to McDonald's. And... I mean, I know where McDonald's is, but it says it's 1.1, oops, speed bump, 1.1 miles away from here. So it's only gonna be, it's gonna be under two miles for the drop off. I'm heading to do a subway order. I think I had just parked up in the Publix Plaza when I got this order. I did have to wait a few minutes for it to be finished because um, somebody had walked in when she was making the to-go order. So she started making his food. Um, I didn't have to, I don't know if I waited long, maybe like five minutes past the pickup time. I text the customer and of course it's the gated community and they just said leave it at the door. So I'm waiting to pull into the community now. But this, for this one, they check your ID at the gate. So usually I don't have an issue with that. It's just trying to get there because it's, it's a lot of people now, 4.30 and that means it's gonna be traffic time. Hopefully I can get an Instacart or something because the Publix is right here. There was a couple earlier, but I was doing the other order and I think if you're right by the store, they don't give you as much time to start the order because last time they were like, start your dash or start your shopping and I'm like, oh my gosh. So anyways, I'm here so let me go. pretty easy I could do that you know so I thought I was recording me dropping off that Walgreens and I was not so I was super sad about that I pulled back up into Publix and I got an order for McDonald's for less than a mile for five dollars I had to wait a few minutes for the McDonald's I don't know if it was ready or not or what but they had a line so I just had to wait my turn I'm heading to drop it off now to the little vacation village area. Oh wow, I'm literally about to be there. Um, and they said, they left me the gate code and they said to leave it at the door. Uh huh, that's what you get for being on my butt. And they put like little red exclamation point marks, which I've never seen that before. So I definitely took a picture of that. Um, but let me go so I can type in this code and get this dropped off. Three items, 
items, four units, nothing heavy, well, super heavy is like, looks like two cold coffees. I can't tell what that is. Maybe some seafood? No, I don't know. Something and then some oatmeal. So I should be in and out of the Publix and get this delivered. I don't know which way it's going. Oh, more towards 50, okay. Well, not towards 50, but kind of towards 50, you know? I don't know. Into Claremont more instead of like towards the Disney area. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm heading now. Y'all, it was Epsom salt, which took me a minute to find because it said it was in the, well, I know like what kind of aisle it's gonna be in. And it was not where the other Epsom salt was. It was on the end of the aisle and I'm, I finally saw it. So that was good. The other thing was the cold coffee and then the oatmeal. So super easy. That store was definitely very busy right now. Um, but I'm about to drop it off now. I'm 0.3 miles away. I'm already in the neighborhood. sent me an add-on for Panera for 4.8 miles for $7.75. So I'm finally heading to Panera. Five Guys took forever. There was a million people in there. Oh, you're not going. You're going slow, so I'm going to go over. I don't know if it would be easier to go straight, but the GPS is telling me to turn. So hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt because this light does not last very long at all. Um, so that is what is going on now. Friday and let me tell y'all it was a little bit better than the last couple days. I felt like I was more busy when I was like I guess I was going and going and going um, but there was like two periods where I didn't have an order for a long time and then it poured and then it rained and I don't feel like that helped me any. Um, I guess because it's Florida and it rains all the time in the summertime it just doesn't help. Um, Para is still down shocker I know um 
I don't know. I guess it's not really that useful because <laughs> it doesn't work half the time. More than half the time, actually. Um, but today I did. Let's see. Today was pretty good with DoorDash. Dun, 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 dun. I'm trying to get there. So with Uber Eats, I did one trip for $7.60. That's the first Uber I've done all week. And they have that new, like, estimated buy time, which is weird. I've never seen that before. Um, I still don't know if that's estimated the customer's supposed to get it by that time or I'm supposed to pick it up by that time. I don't know. I guess they're trying to get like DoorDash a little bit on that one. Um, I did have feedback for the two Instacarts that I did. I don't know who said what, but I got quality items, helpful chat, smart bagging, smart delivery, I mean, and smooth delivery. Sorry, y'all. Um, so that was good. And then let's see. With DoorDash, I did a total of $50.75 for the one dash. That's one dash. That was for seven trips. And then $22.25 for the other one. So all together, it was $73 on DoorDash today. And then with Instacart, I did the two trips, like I just said. And one of the persons, I think they raised the tip $2. So I got $29.99 on Instacart. Um, so that's like a total of $110 today. I was not out as long today. I think I got out pretty late. I think it was like almost 12 o'clock when I got out. And then I was done like before, I think a little bit before seven, I had to go to the bathroom. So I was like, you know what? I need to get a couple things from Walmart. I need to stop at Publix. So let me just go offline. Um, but that was today y'all. Um, are y'all having that Uber Eats pickup buy time or what did it say? I can't even remember y'all. Let me go back and look at it. So I'm saying the right thing. Uber Eats. It said you're expected by 2 p.m. So it's at a you're expected time. <laughs> Does anybody else have that? Um, if you do, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a great weekend, y'all. A young boy being in a dream. And in the dream...